seat belts on. Wow. This is steep. Can it be? Come on. Come on, yes. stay there. Let's have another go at this. So this is a uh, well-earned trip to the Lake District. Um, I have the pleasure of a Skoda Superb IV. I have a, a willing uh, guest, passenger. <laughs> and, um, I've known about Skoda since I was a, a young boy, but I've never actually driven one before. So I'm really impressed. We've got our bikes on the roof, two mountain bikes. Going to take in some of the UK's most scenic locations, apparently. Go for a quick blast on the bikes get out into nature and then we're going to see what this superb IV can do. Right, turn the music up. Carry Let's here. rave in the sunshine. Do some road dancing. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's on camera. Okay. Your robot dance. Famous for my robot dancing now. You will be. So if I put it into um, oh, that normal sport mode. I'm on the motorway now. Go for it. Let's do this. Kick down. Oh Hold my gosh. In. Wow. Feel that. That's the beauty of these things is that it's sort of if you're in long distance motorways, you use the petrol engine. If you're doing small, you know, short trips or low speed, it uses the electric motor. Yeah, so we're going to um, Wastwater, which is in a sort of a middle lower lake district, um, and it's one of the most scenic places in the UK. And then tomorrow we'll get up early, it'll be nice to see the sunrise. Bikes. Yeah, we're going mountain biking. <laughs> Hopefully, we can go and uh, put this superb IV through its paces. Oh, oh wow. Sheep and road. That's amazing. It's oh, amazing. Oh, it's a look at road. them. Might have to have a sleep. It's probably not. How far is it? It's 31 miles. You can't sleep, you joker. Why not? <laughs> it was That'll test, test our test, and how smooth test. it is. <laughs> Coming up to Wastwater now. Look at that view. Yes. That is beautiful. Now we're in the country now. So beautiful, but cold. We're here at West Waters, so we made it. It's been a, a, it's about a two, two and a half hour drive. And this is the, the star of the show, the uh, Skoda Superb IV. So it's the first thing that struck me. You just look at the car. The point is that the car looks great. Navigation, the control, it's all control for the screen here. It's a touch screen as well, quite high end. Seats are great. Looking for this from a fleet perspective as well. So, does it make sense if you're looking at you know, buying a fleet of cars for your sales team or for the company? And, you know, it strikes me that it makes a lot more sense to buy hybrid or electric cars now. It's cheaper for the employee, it's cheaper for the business, uh, it's better for the environment. When we left um, home, we had about a two hour drive, that the, the battery is sort of more or less dead. It's charged up about 20%. So, so you're just driving things like braking, where we use the energy, recycles the energy to recharge the battery. Tomorrow, quite a bit of driving to do. So the question is, how much will we get out of the battery? How much will we get out of the electric charge? Tomorrow we're gonna find out. Piers said his arms yeah. hurt him from the camera, so I'm gonna hold <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's the car charging overnight, standard 240 volt plug. So hopefully it should be fully charged. So I think I have to use the key to unlock this. It comes out. Leave that there for a minute. Lock in. Shut it. Voila! <laughs> Seat belts on. It's fully charged now. Let's do this! <clears throat> right, so we're off to Harden Up Pass, which is one of the steepest roads in the UK. Let's so we're ticking some that. boxes. Let's see how the, uh, the Skoda Superb IV copes with that. We're going to climb it in an electric motor. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah. And it should be fine. We're going to put it in. The electric motors are the more powerful than people don't realise that. They've just got instant power. She's about to talk. Oh, well, we're not. Like three minutes. Hard not pass. Go. Oh. What? What? Hang on a minute. What? Can you see it there? Is that a road? <laughs> is that a road? Is it? I thought that was. Is it? Wow, that's not. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is steep. Oh my gosh. But it's going to be interesting testing out the car on that. Let's give it a go. Let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Oh. Let's do it. All right, we're in business. Yeah. Then we'll set it up basically to go up in um, electric mode. So we've got about 72% battery. Which should be enough to get us up there. Let's do it. That is steep. <laughs> it's steep. Oh, really narrow. Taking it easy. Fantastic views. I'd like to look at them, it's probably not a good idea right now because there's a shorter way down to the bottom of this. It is beautiful here, it's so nice. Wow, Steve. <laughs> of... Oh, we've oh, hit a wow. bit. Interesting. Wow. It's super steep. Whoa. Oh. I'm going to have another go at this. Oh no, that's why, because we went into a pothole. So, got, Piers got, hit a pothole. I got distracted. <laughs> right, let's do it again. I'm in E mode. Right. Oh. So, we should have the torque now. Let's just take it easy. Try and avoid the hole. Come on. Oh, Come on, yes. Skoda. Stop. We made it. Yes. Now we've got another super steep corner. Look at that. Don't look. <laughs> wow, oh. let's pull in here to look at the view. Unbelievable. Here we are, so we've made it to the top. Unbelievable views. It's so nice. This is the steepest road in the UK. Well, I can take in the views. Look at the seats. Really nice. Oh, I forgot I've got my sunglasses. Oh, here he is. Right. Check. I'm in control. All right, check. Is it in shot with you now? Yeah, looks lovely. <gasps> Stopped off for lunch, so we put on some more sort of gear to go and uh, ride on the Skoda bikes. And that's the key thing is to have a car that you know works as a company car, but which people are happy to drive um, for their sort of fits their lifestyle. It's also practical; you can actually use it. And in our case, we've used it to get a, a real weekend away in the Lake District. So here we are now. We're arriving where we're coming to get the bikes out to work off at lunch. Right, are you ready? Right, let's do this. How 
had the Skoda Superb IV now for two days. It's my first experience driving a Skoda. Really been looking at this car from a sort of a company car, a fleet perspective, and I've bought a, bought a few in my time. And increasingly, it's important that your, your car, you know, does the job for your, your team, the happy driving the car, but also something that works in terms of people's lifestyles as well. The idea behind this trip was two days. We're going to go to Lake District to test the car. We went to Wasswater. We've been to Harden Up Pass today, the steepest road in the UK. We went mountain biking. So the, the first thing really is to talk about the car. So the car itself is, is sporty looking. It's a sport line. Decent alloy wheels, low profile tires. One thing I don't like about cars is chrome trim. And this is all blacked out, so I quite like that. It looks sleek, it looks modern. I think I was surprised and Nicola was surprised by the interior of the car and it's got everything you would expect. Kind of a sporty interior, it's a sport line and the, the tech as well. So they called it the virtual, virtual cockpit. cockpit. So that again is like an, an LCD screen essentially and you can cycle through that and see everything you need. I quite like the controls in terms of suspension settings as well. Any car I drive that's got a sports mode, it tends to stay in sports mode. And the you could feel it, couldn't you? You could feel yeah, it firm really up nice. and accelerate to become more responsive. So we were able to plug the car in into a typical straightforward 240 volt socket, plugged in overnight. And I learned that actually it actually locks the socket into the car. So if you leave the car overnight, people can't mess with it. You'd always say that, you know, it should have more leather in it in terms of the dash or more carbon fiber, whatever. But I think the interior itself is pretty I like good. The interior but there's nothing inside. missing. And I think for this price range, what you're getting for your money, it's, it's a pretty good deal, isn't it? But in terms of a car that you'd be happy owning yourself or you know, you'd be recommending it to your senior team or your sales team, whatever it is that works for you, I think you'd be very happy if you show them the car and they've got to experience it, they'd be very happy with it. And again, it fits both, I think, in a fleet car, being on the road, it was great on the motorway. We came up with the M6 to get here. Um, great for that, but also great in terms of lifestyle. We've got two mountain bikes on, on the roof. It's a hatchback, like I said. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff in the back in terms of luggage and also there's an estate version too which is even bigger. It's been a great trip, it's, it's been short but sweet. It's been fantastic getting to, you know, re-engage with and learn more about the Skoda brand. So thank you Skoda, thanks thank for the, the superb IV for two days. Highly recommended if you're looking at fleet options or company cars. I think this kind of car will keep your team very happy and also it makes sense in terms of the bottom line.